In this video, let us see about the Ohm's law and its limitation. Then, what is an open circuit and short circuit condition in an electric circuit? So, in the previous video, I have asked to find the resistor value for this uh, resistor. So, the first color is brown and the second one is red. So, I can write here 1 and this is 2. And the third band is for multiplier. So, it is green in color. So, green color, it is 10 power 5. So, I can write this as 12 into 10 power 5 means 5 zeros I have to add. So, I can write this as 1.2 into 10 power 6 ohms. So, what is this 10 power 6? I can write it as mega ohms. So, 1.2 mega ohms is the answer. So, for the next question, you can see here, uh, this is the band given, that is blue, gray and golden color. So, for blue color, it is 6, for gray color, it is 8, for golden color, that is the multiplier value is 10 power minus 1. So, into 10 power minus 1. So, that comes around 6.8 into 0.1. So, 10 power minus 1 is nothing but 0.1. So, the total resistance is 6.8 ohms. So, now let us see about Ohm's law. So, Ohm's law most of you know what is the Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. So, this Ohm's law is found by this scientist, George Simon Ohm. So, according to him, V and I are interrelated. That is, voltage always helps the current to flow. But, this resistance limits the current. That is, if resistance is high, only less current will flow. If resistance is less, that is, you, you can see this diagram. When you loosen the rope, current can flow easily. It means that when the resistance is less, the current can flow easily. So, this is given by this scientist. So, what he did is, he varied the res, uh, voltage from 0 to some value V and found the voltmeter and ammeter readings. And he found that, so he plot that values in the graph and found that if you see the V and I ratio, it will be constant. So, at any point, you see the first case, voltage is 2 current is 0.5. So, 2 divided by 0.5 is 4. For second point also, 4 divided by 1, it is 4. Here, 6 divided by 1.5, that is again 4. So, he found that always this V by I ratio is constant and that constant is called the resistance. So, according to Ohm's law, the voltage across the conducting material is directly proportional to the current flowing through it. So, V is proportional to I. So, V is equal to IR. So, here it is given that provided the physical conditions remains the same, it means that at constant temperature, the law is valid. Now, if I increase the voltage to 2 times V, suppose here I have 100 volts, I am giving 200 volts here, then current will also get doubled. So, V by R becomes 2V by 2I. Finally, 2 to get cancelled, again it will be equal to R. That is what Ohm's law says, V is equal to IR. Let us see the power dissipated in a resistor. So, we know V is equal to IR. So, the power dissipated P is equal to V into I. So, what is V? 
I can write it as I into R. So I R into I. So that becomes I square R. Or I can write in terms of voltage also. So instead of I, I can write V by R. So it is equal to V square by R. So power can be written as V I or I square R. Or I can write it as V square by R. The unit of power is watt. So watt is written here. So you can remember the Ohm's law easily. V is equal to I R. So the, if you want V, so V is equal to I R. Or if you want I, you can write V by R. And if you want R, write V by I. Okay. So you remember this triangle. You can find whatever value you want. Let us draw the graph now. You take the current in y-axis and voltage in x-axis. And if you see here, the slope of the line will give you the resistance. So the slope of the line is given by y-axis divided by x-axis. So in y-axis you have current. Here you have voltage. So that is equal to 1 by R. In some graphs they will take current here sorry voltage here and current here so in that case you will get the resistance so the graph between p and i is a straight line passing through the origin and the slope of the graph will give you the resistance value let us see the limitations of ohm's law it does not apply to nonlinear devices. What are nonlinear devices? The diode, transistors, SCRs. Because these devices will not have a linear VI relationship. That is, the voltage and current relationship will not be linear. And second thing, it will does not apply to non-metallic conductors. Third thing, it is applicable only when the temperature is constant. So, these are the limitations of Ohm's law. Let us apply the Ohm's law and find the resistance R. So, this is a simple problem. So, the current drawn by a 230 volt bread toaster is 10 amps. So, what will be the resistance? So, V and I data is given. You have to find resistance. So, what is R? V by I. So, simply substitute here. It is 230. Sorry, 23 ohms. Now, you have a question to be solved by yourself. So, here, this is a circuit. Here you have, you are applying 100 volts across two resistors R1 and R2 which have same value 10 ohms. Okay. So now what you have to do is find what is the current I1 and I2. So given data is V is given, R1 and R2 is given. So you know in this circuit, this 100 volts will be applied across this resistor as well as this resistor. So, resistance value is also known. You find the current I1 and I2. So, you solve it and give your answer in the comment section. So, now let us see what is an open circuit condition. So, this is a circuit. Any electrical circuit, let us take. And you take only the outer terminals A and B. Now, this is open. So, when something is open, current is will be 0. So, V is equal to I into R. R is equal to V by I. So, you can write V divided by current is 0. So, V equal to 0. So, you know that here R is infinite. So, 1 by 0 is infinite. So, R value is infinite. So, when R is infinity, no current can flow in the circuit. So, you two things you have to remember. Under open circuit condition, the current will be 0 and the resistance is infinite. Okay. 
so this is what you should know from open circuit condition similarly you take the short circuit condition so here same circuit is there you are shorting this terminal okay so when you are shorting the terminals means the resistance of this wire is zero or it is very very small so r is said to be zero so when there is a path for the current to flow current will flow in this circuit and this circuit current is called the short circuit current and v is equal to ir so i you know that is the short circuit current and r it is zero so voltage will be zero so under short circuit condition voltage is zero and resistance is zero so let us uh, do some example on open circuit and short circuit so take this circuit voltage is given resistance is given and this terminal is a b okay so first we will find what is the current in this uh, circuit so v is equal to ir so i is equal to v by r so you can directly find the current so this iab is equal to 5 amps okay now i am opening this terminals ab so let it get opened so now what will be the current here so we have seen that under open circuit current will become zero so iab is equal to zero so what will be the voltage here so no current is flowing in this path but this voltage will appear here so vab is equal to 100 volts now let us uh, see an example for short circuit condition so in this circuit the total um, current flows here and we you can find what is the current so v divided by r r you, you can see here two resistance are there when there are two resistance in series you can directly add the resistance so 100 divided by 40 so that is equal to 2.5 amps so the current through this branch is 2.5 amps now what you are doing you are shorting this terminal ab so we have seen what is the short circuit it means that you are connecting a thick wire whose resistance is zero so this is short circuit so you remember one thing whenever you short circuit something current will always flow through the short circuited path okay so that is why in your house if any equipment gets shorted the fuse will blow off because under short circuit condition the current always flows through the shorted path or it takes the minimum resistance path so here the current will flow in this path only okay not through the resistor so i is equal to v divided by r but r will be only this resistor the current will flow till this point and then take the shorted path so v is equal to 100 divided by 20 so short circuit current is 5 amps always remember your shorted current will be greater than the circuit current because whatever value of resistance you have here it will be bypassed through this one so the points to remember here are according to ohms law v is equal to ir and there are some limitations of our ohms law like it, uh, you should have a constant temperature and it will not be applicable for non linear devices non metallic conductors and under open circuit condition i is equal to 0 and r is infinite under short circuit condition v is 0 and r is 0 If you need the study material you can visit this website where important points will be given 
and if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel these are some of the references i have used